but it's watching me and i get no privacy oh whoa. i always feel like somebody's watching me and i get no privacy oh whoa. i always feel like somebody's watching me and i get no privacy Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a lovely day. Hi, Ilya Tan. We are back once again with the Sugar Crispy Cereal. And Baldur's Gate. Requires much balding, and so far, very few gates. My cousin has challenged me to do a tactical run. I'm like, I'm gonna beat the game first, and then we'll talk about doing a tactical run. Anyways, we are back in the lag, 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 lag. Let the last light in. Where I think we were still selling things off. We're really close to another level up. Two of us have leveled up, but I don't know what it is, but for some reason, like, he seems to be shared, sort of, kind of, sometimes. But then Asterion is always late to level up, and this time uh, Shadowheart was late to level up too, so I don't know what the deal is. I guess that inspiration kind of gives a little XP to a specific person, but when you switch people in and out, they just default to the highest. So because Karla gets switched out all the time, because I often need Asteria to cast Guidance and freaking Shadowheart to cast, uh, I didn't see any movement not there. as bad as it could have. So what's weird is I have this strange chunk of amber, but at the same time, I also happen to have the the blood of Lathander. I don't know what's going on with that. Also, I keep having these weird bugs where like I go into somebody's inventory and yeah, it's absolutely, it seems to be empty for half a second. Yeah. There's more where that came from. Anyways, I'm just gonna Stone. do this. I sold a pair of boots to that traitor. Can't believe it. Honestly, you say that every time we show up. Please ignore the terrifying glowing thing on my back. Do you have any more potions? Ooh, you got some scrolls. What you got for scrolls? Some of this is new. Ooh, another another scroll of fireball. Yes, please. Scroll of phantasmal killer. Yes, please. Got any good potions? Potions, potions, potions. Oh, look at you. You do have some.
I might save the Shining Staver of Skulls. Seems weird, but... I've actually used an Arrow of Darkness now, so it's not as bad as I once made them out to be, but... The Thunder seems to be 100% resisted now. Like, things are just high enough level they have a save that will let them resist it. Girlfriend. I feel like there's still more stuff in here I haven't gotten rid of. I'm not gonna use that again. I'm gonna use that. point in time we need to use some more of these elixirs <laughs> but today is not that day and tomorrow doesn't look good either was weird. Anyways, set okay now. Okay, how many rests do we have? Wish we you are stopped. nearly at a spell, Shadowheart. Ahead. I wish we had a bloody army. Yeah, I think we'll go. I think we'll go wandering some more. Let's go wandering, boys. There's still shit we ain't found yet. Or failing to be observant as usual. God, for a second I thought that was like actually the moon. I was like, what? How is the- where? Why? Oh, wait a second. It's a shield that's supposed to look like the moon. So yes, naturally. Moon-like. Yep, makes sense. Let's go. <laughs> Never mind me freaking out about the moon.
True soul. True soul got wrecked. That's interesting. What's in here? A4, scouting mission dispatched by Catherick to the Shadowlands objective locate nest of absolute non-believers. Reach outskirts of the village, disturbing sounds echo throughout the shadows, must evade pursuit. Preparing to create a light barrier for protection against lurking monsters and deadly darkness may the absolute guide me. Yeah, the fact they didn't send you with um, anything useful means you were sent out on a not-so-great mission. Yeah, those moons, they sneak up on you! <laughs> it's like, um, the Team Four Star. Moon! And then he blows up the moon. No further explanation needed, just moon. <laughs> So they sent her out without a... without a... lantern. Which means the true souls are also becoming kind of, uh... again. Spot for an ambush. Oh yay! Another ambush! My favorite! What is it? A measle. Like it doesn't say it says it's humanoid, not like Fay, for example. Is it a name? Like is measle its name? Nope. They're all measles. Can you talk to them? No, it looks like we can't even talk to them. Rap bram? Still breathing, despite everything. It's a friendly looking shadow. I am observed. If not over, then through. Breathe quiet. Move with care. Wits and blades always sharp. Watch your back. On tippy toes. Stealth mode activated. Never wanted the easy path.
Now I want to know what they've got. Well, looks like it's going to hit way more. I necessarily want it to. I definitely can't hit the both of them. Oh, but I can hit the both of them. Okay, if I can hit the both of them there. Break the group. Can't afford to stay idle. Okay. Really, Shadowheart. Not anyone see. Be stealthy. No, there's more of them. Best step softly. The shadow heart, not with the the blood of Lathander, just fucking sitting there in her fucking backpack. Vice Pegasus. True. True. Surely I can hit him from. No, it still wants to send me over there to hit him. Fire an arrow at him? Again. We're looking for. Darian, your hicking turn. He can jump from there, which is fine. Now, soldier. I think the easiest place for Carlac to jump in from is probably just right here. Like, no more, no less. He's stealthy. I have to survive 
survive this. What are your weaknesses? You're just surprised. That's his turn. Oh, we need Harlock. Too dark. That's a friendly looking shadow. That's not what I wanted to do. Fuck. Fucking bitch. Where's the other one? Oh, I see. That's the other one. I know Carlock will resist this, but it's still gonna be funny if she gets launched. So let's go, bitch! You know what you have. You know what you have.
do the unexpected. We'll do it my way. Let's find some prey. <laughs> say I'm pretty sure she's got some too Do be a thing. Dying, dying swiftly is uh, a whole thing. Back on your feet. Take two. <clears throat> All right, Karlak, it's go time. Ooh, four hundred four K. Never let it be said that I know how to drink water without killing myself. It is a difficult prospect at the best of times! <laughs> what does everybody else have? Surely there's something I could do. That would add to the nonsense over here. Personally, I'm just like on top of just throwing another alchemist fire. I feel better. Oh, he's prone. Well, one for each of you, then.
this way. Target's too far. Not can't even zap him. Can I maybe fire an arrow at him? guys got rope guess that makes sense oh they leveled up yeah level ups yeah level ups cleric level eight <clears throat> let's prepare your spells And Asterion. Oh, I know. We've been waiting for this one for a while. Eight to twenty one, nine to seventeen. Nine to seventeen, but deep increase of of Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
What's next, I wonder? Guys, don't jump up here. Oh my god, you dumbasses. Oh my god. Every fucking time. Guys. I swear to god. It's like trying to herd cats. Thanks. No time to rest. <sighs> Off we go then. to the easy path. Room for more. Well, hello. You're the only one who didn't jump up here. Are you kidding me right now? You can't get up here because it's too high? Really, Mouse? Really? Get out the fucking- Mouse be like, gonna sit on it. Maiden, protect those of us who would not turn for you no matter the consequences in the short life. Keep these artifacts or our devotion until such a time as we may openly infuse our spirits with your white light once more. Gregant, cunning to my brother Halfred in his efforts to conceal the last of your relics. Let his name let the name last night not be important. Let your moon glow continue forever and fill our hearts. Saluna Idol, really? Are you in need of a paperweight? <laughs> Mad, we can sell it for like ten gold. Can't give up now. So it's a good sign. There is work to do. Who failed the who failed the check? Critical fail on a perception check. Oh, 
I'm glad we all just walked right by it. Where's the trap? Oh, it's a tripwire. Keep a blade close. Nice. name Dell Timber occupation farmer man potatoes a farmer how many guards is Thorm stationed at the south wall Dell Timber what do you mean south wall to play fool with me Timber the moonrise south wall I, I don't know I swear it write this down Lunar Thorm spy refuses to cooperate harsher requires message Mo require harsher measures required I said write it down Mind if I do? Of course, it's locked. Should be easy. It makes sprinkle noises. <clears throat> Shredder by Twilight. You gain a plus one bonus to armor class while obscured. I think that's trying too hard to be specific. <clears throat> Let's move. Bitch, yeah. That's why you look in all the damn vases, even if it's really annoying. <clears throat> it is still weird, though. Saloon's only worth sixty. <laughs> the idol, the idol of Shar is worth way more than that.
Food's not disintegrated. It's rotten, but not disintegrated. I can't do any scouting. Poor thing. Sorry, buddy. Never a dull moment. See that symbol on the ground? This was a mason's guild. <clears throat> Corpses on display. Perhaps someone didn't appreciate the mason's stonework. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Well, if they are, they're probably really bored because you do everything really slowly. Or rotten food. Okay. I can't go this way. Looks like I can, but I actually can't. Dark amethyst die. Ooh. We didn't change it. Aww. <clears throat> oh, I guess it did. It changed the back of it. That's even more purple. Awesome. I'm thinking I should take a long rest. I really feel like I should take a long rest. Hmm. Shadow Heart could probably be fine for one more round. Average Warlock player! <laughs> it's so true.
It's probably fine. No, it's probably fine. fine. Why did it do that to me? Bones? Hit bones with stick? Hit bones with stick. Oh, that didn't do anything. Let this be a warning. Those who defy Shah's will shall suffer darkness without her blessing. There's an environmental turn. I didn't do this myself. What am I to do? Cry. I have to keep pushing. Oh, wait a second. What happened to Darian, no. what are you doing? Step lightly. <sighs> Can you idiot stick with me? What a charmer. Phew. Oh, wait a second, there's no point in doing that. Mode. At least things have stayed interesting. Let this be a warning. Those who defy Shah's will shall suffer darkness without her blessing. That might be worth a look. Here lies the Grand Mason, his bones and lies exposed. A pile of crushed bones of varying shapes, sizes, and creatures. That's weird. Here lies the Grand Mason, his bones and lies exposed. That's weird. That's so weird. Come on, guys. Stick with. Clearly nothing could go wrong if we just keep going deeper. This is a very big room, you guys. Infernal iron. We try to be observant before we get observant. This, 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 this looks like a place where there's gonna be a combat. Who wants to take a rest? We're gonna take a long rest. We're gonna take it right here. Yep, let's go. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Hey, boy. How are you doing, bud? Scratch's tail wags enthusiastically. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily. He's a good pupper. He's a good pupper. Yeah, he is. We 
Where's your ball? There it is. Whee! Go get your ball! That's a good bumper! Thank you, pupper! Hey, do any of you knuckleheads want to talk to me? You know, I haven't spoken to Volo in a while. Hey, Volo, how you doing? Ah, my good fellow! Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. Uh... <laughs> Shaking my head, no! I saw you. I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. He's a bard. I mean, he's a bard, but he's like a really old bard. But then again, he's a really old bard! Here, you guys decide for me. <laughs> ah, no! Damn it! You're here for the chaos? I'm not gonna look at the screen. Then carefully holds one of your eyes open. <laughs> prod uncertainly with the needle. Oh, uh, why? Why? Do you have any idea what you're doing? Fidget. The needle must slip behind your eye. Yeah! It. Why? The, the gap between eyeball and socket. Oh! And begins to push. You know what you're doing? Oh, oh what the fuck? Through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. Why did I just. Why? I have it! Dude! The seesaws back and forth. <laughs> and strength. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. The obstacle is my eye! Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eyes. <laughs> he produces an ice pick. Dude! My eyes all bloody. You know what? If I had a migraine, let's Volo go. Slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Dude! Polo! Cold metal presses against the skin beneath your brow. And then... I'm like not even tap, looking. Tap. Stab. Really? Do you feel that? Yes! Huh. I think we have the blighter on the run. Stop digging your brain in my brain! <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> it's a feisty critter. Right on bottom me! <laughs> Maybe I should have saved first. The pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. God damn it, Volo! Tret. He Tret! looks down at your eye and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. Good job, you fucker! There appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. You know that bloody eye out! Please, try not to over- ah! You're in a rather fragile state at present. I can't help but feel partly responsible. Partly! Perhaps there is something more I can do. I thought Bards knew how to do magic that heals! What? Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Try it on for size. And, um, it was very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta. Really? Did he just run off that little shit? Lost condition, bleeding eye. Disadvantage on perception checks. Yeah, he did fuck off! So wait, what? He gave me a new eyeball, right? Wait, what does it look like? Where's the mirror? I can't believe he left! He was my fucking... Always present guy! Permanent sea visible! Oh my god! Well, okay. Fuck him. <laughs> I really wanted to try it, but... Oh, I thought that thought was me. No, it's the freaking fairy. Be more angry, little fairy. I will let you go after I'm done my mission. Until then, you can stay right where you heckin' are. See invisible, but not see mirror. She's got a little plant. Oh, she does have a teddy bear, and its name is Clive. Oh, well, my eyes already had heterochromia, so. Yes, I just saw Clive. The little teddy bear. There it is. Let's see what this does. Yeah, I can't choose it, because Obsidian 2 was the original color for it. That's so fucking funny. It's like blue and gold now. Ah! 
God damn it! When I see Volanex, I'm gonna hand him his ass. I'm mostly mad he left the camp! I was gonna be able to throw stuff at him. Can. I was selling to him all the time. Open this cage, you mounting asshole! No. <laughs> yeah, all you have to do is click on his his little trade symbol and it'll pop up. He doesn't often have stuff, but because I was selling a lot of things to him... Well, that was fun! Yeah, I want to try and get to this House of Healing place. See, I think the reason why I went into time, like, time dilation for half a second there... ...is because I climbed a ladder and then moved on too quickly for people to catch up. Shadow Heart, that's that's how you did that that good job. Good 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 fucking job. Good good job. You frickin' Don't worry guys, I'll just walk through the darkness. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. The the magical darkness that causes intense necrotic damage. It's 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 fine. It's all fine. This is fine. Graveyard. Wait. Please. What? The kid. Hey, I know you. You're. How did you get all the way out here without getting killed? Twist. Hey, 
That's Arabella. Kid from the Druid's Grove. That snake woman nearly did her in. Looks like she's learned a thing or two. Sorry. It knocks the wind right out of me. Magic that strong. Ooh. Reading. Oh, she has a teddy bear. And a single gold. Magic that strong usually isn't free. Where did you acquire that it? I took? It changed me. I can do all sorts of stuff now, not just the vines. I think real hard and say some loud words, and then it happens, mostly. You should be with What's your parents. You Mom and pops, I mean. When Zevlor, when he, well, there was an ambush. Mom yelled, "Run!" So we ran. I could hear him running behind me, till I couldn't. Still can't find him. But I bet you can. You'll help me. I just know it. Doesn't give me the option that I would want to get would want to give, which would be like, okay, well, you're staying with us while we deal with this problem. You stay in the back, somewhere in the middle, and try not to die. Well, finding her parents is probably going to result in finding some corpses, but uh, okay, sure, I guess. Thanks, Miss. I knew you'd help me again. The vines won't last forever. I don't. I don't suppose I can stay with you. Yes, that's that's Just good. You yes. Mom and pops. I won't be any trouble, I swear it. Oh, thanks. You're the best. So you send <coughs> mom and pop there. I'll be waiting, hero lady. Not a hero! I'm a compulsive scholar! Nobody ever listens to me. Seems simple enough. In memory of Kayla Bellsworth. Thrice married, thrice widowed. Always smiling. You bastard, hydrate! Died loudly. May the crows use this marker as a privy! be over here. That's curious. A skeleton in a graveyard? Curious? Okay, I guess.
In the fifth year of our union, we faced the biggest hurdle yet. My parents became quite ill and we became their caretakers in a dark and difficult time filled with emergencies of every possible type. Gone were the easeful days in which our time was our own, our days filled with work, each other, and little else. And during our darkest moments, I wondered if we survived it, but the bond of love we had was resilient. It could bend and bend and bend, but would not break, no matter the pressure. Mwah. In memory of E. Burke Trolled Leader, his tall tales shall be greatly missed. She came and went like a natural disaster. Wish I had a bag of holding. Here lies the best smith in Rythwen. Our swords will never slice as true. Sleep to the surprise of many. Casual grave robbing? Yes. A crooked touch. You are opening a master lock. You can open it by hitting it with another master lock. Indeed. Boots. Boots of a does nigh wars been brewing and now it overflows when Kethrick turned us toward Shar I followed him in appearance if not in heart to my home I would not be removed by it no matter what I watched it assist at a distance as the darkness here grew Kethrick's grief brought him farther and farther from life itself as he gathered his army I prayed for his defeat the harpers marched upon a little village our little beautiful village I can only hope Kethrick will be felled at last and Wraithwind can heal from this nightmare Imagine, imagine finding finding a thing that makes you fall into a magical coma that makes you seem like like you're dead. Well, in it. Uh, on, on a body in a graveyard. <laughs> there's oopses, and then there's that level of oops. A lot of stuff in here. Okay. I have something to ask. Hello. Don't call the doctor yet. I've got potions, switches. I know I can do this. Oh. You're a patient. This is the children's ward. Triage is back that way. That body she's working on. That's Arabella's father. Oh no. Why are you treating a dead body? Not dead. Merely medicated. 
to ease the pain. I see now. They're sleeping peacefully. I think your work here is already done. That's why it's nice to have friends. Least most useful cantrip in the entire game, outside of guidance, is friends. Yes. yes. I knew these hands would not fail me. The patient is sure to recover. Well, hey, if I can buy some stuff. Not much left now, but you're welcome to look. Yep, she's definitely undead. She's such a cool design. I'm kind of sad that, like, I mean, I guess, theoretically speaking, we could just have nothing else. Or we could have an entire adventure with her or end up having to kill her. But look how cool her design is. She's so cool looking. She has a lot of money too. Nice. Purple worm toxin. Thank you. You only have poison? Yes, your, your, your medicines are, um... A true sight to behold. Oh, you do have some potions, though. Let's go. What do you got? Gaseous form. Antidote. I have so many of those. Alting, poison, toxin, rotten food. There isn't anything else hiding in here that I just don't care about. You'll excuse me. I've got to tend to my patient. Yeah, they are very dead. I seem to dwindle dramatically in its final days, and upon the book's front cover scrawled a message in black ink. 
Assist years only, no exceptions. Old map in a druidic style appear to be hidden routes out of the Emerald Enclave. The destination is marked as Baldur's Gate and notice attached. Take only what you carry, go through the mountain pass. If anyone fails, leave them. Oh, I've seen this before. God, what do I tell the kid? She's hanging out with Withers! Hey, Arabella! So, um, hey, you. bad news! Easy peasy. Sorry, kid. And pops. Yeah. Yeah. No. No, no, no. I don't believe you. Oh, come on now. Can you fucking talk to her? Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Oh yeah, I picked up that ledger too. Oh yeah, no, that wasn't that wasn't what I need. It gives you an action called Hand Me My Syringe.
It's a weapon. That's so gross. Malus Thorm, head surgeon, has come to my attention that our so-called caregivers are wasting precious anesthetic resources on the elderly and the mortally wounded. Nurse Lidwin informs me this practice eases the suffering of the feeble and guides them to our lady's final embrace. Never have I heard of such abject nonsense. Anesthetic is a tool to relieve my ears of my subject screams as I apply the blade out of mercy to be freely dispensed from the- Wow, what an asshole! So saith Char? Only the infirm suffering may we forget our own? The next to ignore this missive will feel my scalpel without sedative. I shall simply have to endure the shrieks. There's another zomble here. Each and every patient who sought healing and wraith went along with their ailments, minor injuries, common diseases. The early pages give way to critical wounds and deep lacerations, repercussions of battle. Several unbound scrolls have been slid among the final pages. Do any of the healers turn away wounded harpers and salonites and reserve their tonics for wounded justicars? Or justiciers on the orders of, of Hedrick. So this is his sibling. inside. I mean, it kind of makes sense to have an oil of diminution. I mean, if you wanted to make a wound smaller, maybe? Blood bank bottle? What does this Zomble have to say? Hello, Zomble. Here to see the doctor? Are we poorly? Are we desperately poorly? <laughs> Not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line, and you will be seen. Fine, I'll get in line. Be patient. Be well. Here to see the doctor? Are we poorly? Are we oh, dead? She's talking to everybody. Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Is she gonna talk to everybody? You will be seen. She's triaging everyone. Fine, I'll get back in line. Be patient. <laughs> Oh, did she teleport us? Maybe she teleported us. Yeah, we teleported. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I'll take that. You're not sick. Not sick at all. Wait in line. Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line, and you will be seen. Be patient, be well. Um, am I stuck in line? Am I stuck here? This is so stupid. Damn it, I wanted to explore more. Why did I have to talk to her? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> what am I gonna do? Let's have a look. She's gonna get mad at us. <laughs> You're not sick. Not sick at all. Wait in line. Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line, and you will be seen. This is so stupid. I need to see the doctor right now. Yes, yes. But all must wait. The doctor's hands are full. Join the line. You will be seen. You know what? I'm not a patient. I'm the doctor's new assistant. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Oh, an answer to our prayers. Down to the theater. Be swift. Be saved. Keep your distance, darling. Where did the chest go? Okay, Asterion, you could have just done this without being a pain in the ass. So that's progress. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Rythwin House of Healing, presiding surgeon, Malus Thorm. Maybe I need more pockets. No. The gist is that the the undead I was just just arguing with 
who was very salty at me uh, stealing everything from her. <laughs> Yeah, she wants to. She wanted to. She needs. She was asking Baldur's Gate for help to send better surgeons because the current surgeon. Don't waste a step. Was kind of all new levels of hot garbage. Soldier. Yeah, this seems like a fight. resistance. He is- oh my god, look at his hands, though. High dex, high wisdom. <laughs> Distress patient in surgery! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd love to talk to them, but at the same time. What can I do? some things that can only affect undead got so much health Fire is not going to work. Vantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. Let's get on with it. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Not yet.
Humanoid, not undead. Looking ahead. He's not immune to force. could banish him, but he's got advantage on any saving throw or any effect, which is not great. So what the fuck am I gonna do? Wait, I've got weapons that do stuff to undead. I've been keeping them around because, undead. after all, there may be a time in which something undead... Nope. No way to look that up, of course. I mean, my Lathander's light's gonna do some real good shit, but at the same time, I'd really... Oh, hey! Scroll of protection from evil and good would work. But we'd all lose our concentration pretty quickly. You know, this is something I was thinking might work out. Roll of hold monster.
What's next? What else are you wearing? Ah. Whatever it takes. Don't it, touch me. Give her those gloves. Where are they? My faith will guide me. Great. Where are they? Gloves. You just got them. There they are. I wonder if there's if there's if there's uh, luminous booties too. Then you could be extra luminous. No one stopped me yet. I'm just checking to see if I actually have some luminous boots. I may have picked them up somewhere. Oh, I could go for you it probably don't have them, though. Nah. But since they take half damage from fire... Okay. This is probably very stupid. Maybe I should maybe I should throw some barrels down there. Let me make sure that you're on, you guys. Well, well, well. Come here, press the button. It's not a horrifying noise in the slightest. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Someone there? Let's crack it open. Come 
on, guys. Is that blood? No, never mind. Very well. More for me. What's hiding here? Keep a blade close. How for a skeleton key? Ah, <laughs> skeleton key. Level three spell slot. Moving. No time to rest. How much farther can I go? Hi oh, guys. <laughs> oh goodness. But that will fit in my pack. I think I've already read this one. Yep, that is a repeat. Okay. The library key. Got a library key. Isn't this supposed to be the library though? This is just the records. It looks like
I don't see... Attention! Uh -huh. What am I gonna do? Oh, guys. Mouse. Still alive, so that's progress. Light on my feet. Another skeleton. Book of Poetry. Think almost fading except for a few enduring words. I hold my breath for the sun to fall for in the hot collapse of day I'm brought to you. While right wind sleeps, the world entire is ours. Grass the bed adieu, our silver candles, the moon and stars, our private canopy. You the brightest of them all, my light, my heart, my world. I would watch the stars with you to the end of time. Night forever arches into day, and sleep be nothing till the so of the sunset hours will mutter on. So instead I shall find eternity in a moment, and by the glance of moonbeams in your eyes will be brought to rest, as rest should be enduring still, longing not f for naught but itself. A really good poem. Yoink! Oh my god, there's actually two skeletons here! Aww... Oh, they 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 like died on the fucking rooftop hanging out together. when the game glitches so hard it doesn't even know what happened. Oh yeah, that was kind of, um, what's the right word? Fruitless? I was hoping to find something that might I don't know. Might make this inevitable fight a little bit easier, but at the same time, I kind of want to talk to him. But at the same time, I really don't want to talk to him. Could everybody, please get. Could, could, I wonder what the next move is. Could, could you get. Could you get. Could. Could. could na, 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 na. Everybody get on the fucking thing! Mouse. Have a lot on my mind. I swear to God. Well, in it. Asterian! Why, 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 why? Asterion. Well, Get your ass on this thing. What to do? Sorry. Ah! I'm ready. I'm not. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So let's just let's just For a dull moment. suck it up and do it do it the hard way. Cause I mean, I could throw a bunch of stuff down there, but I'd rather find out what's going on first, which just means I'm utterly fucked. Why do I have a feeling? Yeah, no, I mean, I can- I can obviously just chuck a bunch of barrels of smoke powder stuff at him. I have many saved up. I was saving them for potentially the last boss slash, you know, maybe Kethrick, but... On a certain level, cheesing cheesing something isn't nearly as much fun as finding out how the encounter's supposed to play out. Though cheesing can be fun if you've done it before, I suppose. <laughs> so I do believe I've read this one before. You can have it for now. Open up. It's looking like... Yeah... All the different things that I'm collecting are for a quick time event of some sort. Something good here, I hope. Pretty sure I've read this one before. Most surgeons don't take this long with a fucking surgery. Ooh, that's new. Scroll it's filled with soothing persuasive arguments. And arguing sick at heart turn themselves to Sanine worship. The moon maiden, as the goddess is called, will whisper naught but lies. No problem solved. Only sense of fondness that is as cold as the lunar marina, seas of empty pale dust, and even that gradually fading for the worshipper. An alternative. The scroll speaks of Shar, who whispers only truth. Her fondness is warm, unexpectedly so, for a goddess of darkness, grief, and nihilism. But why should that be unexpected? The sick at heart will find only succor and blessings when in the embrace of she who understands them best. The stupidest thing I've ever heard of. To the camp with you, book. I can't reach those books. I'm too short. Bone saw is ready.
speech to his troops before victory over the druids and harpers. Take this, you there, take this from me. That is gold, friends. But those who are coveters and cravens among you, take my gold and go. There's enough to keep you warm in winter, but in those cold and lonely winters to come, you will look into the brought flames of this purchased hearth and see a bargain for peace. And then you'll realize that such a retirement comes at the price of pride. Go on and take it. Take it and go. Those who are not afraid and I, we won't stop you. But neither shall we know a winter in which the coin of regret is idly spent. Instead, we shall know blood and fury and a triumph worthy of a flame ring reconcilable only with heaven, I swear it. Against us a raid is a group of fools. Let them be our bank vault. Let us raid them, friends. Let us grow rich on screams. That's some, some rallying fucking speech. The real question is, do I- if I was gonna try and do this quick time event with all these fucking surgical instruments, do I have them all? I've got a syringe, a trepan, an artificial leech, a bone saw. I know I saw a scalpel earlier, but I didn't pick it up. Oh, it's fucking here. I don't mind if I do. Oh, this one doesn't have the hand me my. Sorry, Nix is like, what other things would they use? I'm just like. Oh my god, you won't be able to tell. I don't think he cares about saline flushes. And that that one doesn't count either. Oh, let's let's save first before we do something stupid. The objective of the scalpel sisters is to soothe. For the scalpel indeed is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. Pray, sister, show us the extent of your beneficence. Yeah, that's Stop. your... Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient's sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. You know what? Yeah, a student, yes. Do please enlighten Absence. me. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel led journey that leads from pain to peace. What the fuck is this loon talking about? <laughs> I love you, Karlak! See? Is the light oh wow he just chopped out his eyes I guess this isn't gonna get any better is it probably not 
Turn away if you got medical medical if light errors. It's the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. You are well on your way, but one white orb disfigures you still. Let us finish the cure. you fuck and then I was like oh yeah no actually I only got one <laughs> no no he called me out for having one fucking eyeball dick bag Sisters aren't ready. They'll make me sick instead of curing me. Their incisions are, as yet, still streaked with imprecision. That much, I must concede. How to steady their hands, I wonder. How hard is this persuasion check gonna be? Oh, how hard is this persuasion check gonna be? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's a 21. <laughs> Come on! Example, I must edify and quell the light that blinds us. I mean, yes, I figured that was going to happen. <laughs> the character's like, oh, oh shit! <laughs> that was awesome! That was awesome! I was not expecting that shit! I was not... I kind of really don't want to talk to any of the undead chicks. I like feel like I just like barely managed to escape getting my ass handed to me and I really kind of I I uh yep 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 I feel like I'm going to just fucking die if uh if if I look too hard at anything here
Es, come on. Well, that's one way of doing it, I guess. I'm so not good at drinking water, you guys. They're so creepy! Half millennium ago, he is absent. Absent is him. Heckin' fairy, stop yelling. She remains silent. At the ready. I think I'm over the shock of everything that just happened. Let's go. <laughs> Fucking hell. See, I never would have got to experience the horror of that entire fucking situation. Wait a second, but I still didn't learn... some corpses are that I could want to talk to. Yeah, the fairy's in the, in the thing. I could have let her go, but I don't trust fairies because they're tricksters. Like, it just strikes me that it would be smartest to not trust a fucking fairy to say, oh yeah, I'll definitely help you out if you let me go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Trust that like I trust that surgeon to give me a good eyeball surgery. Aww. Can talk to him. The 
the corpse regards you lifelessly. How did you die? Surgeon. Sisters. Aww. Why were you in this place? Off, Sevlor, you. Where's Sevlor now? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Shit. Look, husband to Chimera, father to Arabella. <laughs> I'm a bad person! I'm a bad person! The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. I was really hoping that he'd have final words for Arabella. Like is there something that you want to say, would like to say to Arabella that you wish you could have said before, you know, you died? Or some shit? What? Did that say staff bedding pool? It did! Taking bets on foreign body must be lodged in redacted cavity. Once a guess is made, it may not be made again. Minimum bet uh, is one gold. Round one bets. Chicken egg, wine bottle, carrot, candlestick was the winner. Ogre's finger. Live rat winner and yuck. Children's doll, pearl necklace, marbles, potato, minotaur horn. Round three bets. Quill, cremation, cremation urn. <laughs> Whipping cane, troll's tooth. Looks like nobody won that one. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't actually have the option to, to access that. Because obviously your character would know about about Faye and their promises. Because to me, like, my my Czech history was like, what you know of Faye is the following. They can't be fucking trusted. So I'm like, well, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm stealing all the silverware. But I do- I- I have told her, not that I've actually told her in character, but I will let her out as soon as we get the fuck out of here. Like, as soon as we're done with this shit. Um... That is a very suspicious looking fucking square, don't you think? Looks real suspicious on the map right there. One second. One second. We're going back. I thought I'd seen everything. I am clearly an idiot and did not notice a freaking door somewhere. <laughs> oh, look at that! Doors! Surgery and physiology, a Sharon's primer. That's weird. I mean, I guess if if you want to be ridiculously pedantic about it, a Sharon surgeon kind of makes sense because they're only opening you up to, theoretically speaking, cut something out. 
like a tumor or a bad bit of flesh. So the concept of loss being a positive when you're not ridiculous about it makes kind of sort of sense. Also the fact that, you know, you'd be under anesthetic and thus in the darkness waiting on Char to help you wake back up. But on the same level, Char's an evil goddess and like, can we just not do this? Crispin unblemished every quill stroke precise Sharon aphorisms and journal philosophies accompany the explicit diagrams and surgical guidelines. Only with sacrifices mastery gained, so has our lady said, and so I say to you, dearest reader. The darkness is infinite, but a master's teachings are not. When his wisdom is exhausted and his pupils fully versed, there shall come a time for one final lesson. He will become the subject fully laid bare for his students to consult, examine, and dissect. Ah, so that that was that was something that I would have failed because I hadn't read this book yet. Sisters, one day shall know me first and whole, last in part. Only then will they be the masters. Ah, I see. Poisoner's gloves. Whatever you do, poison damage. The target needs to succeed a saving throw, or whatever you deal poison damage, they need to succeed at a saving throw, become poisoned. More random ingredients. More random ingredients. Rustic dark outfit. No, no. Books. Therapeutics. Interesting. New inten new incense and hallucinogenics triggered nothing. Something's happened. The Onryo Onero Master ingested something her own climates re recommended. She refused to indulge in the name of the substance. But her dreams were scrawled on a nearby blank canvas as we'd intentioned. Here's what the painting shows. Depictions show all of weird lumbering shapes sailing over cities, metal windmills attached to their sides, and here oblongs fitted with wheels carrying locomotive across a track, and here a mechanized person Waving directly at the viewer. Interesting. The history of mortals becoming gods. Helen Vord, a hard man with harder convictions. As a mortal man, he was a mercenary. The paladin stoic beneath, hidden beneath a crust of scowls and grumbles. As the lord of death, he was forced to mellow both aspects of himself for the impulses of a man and a god are not consummate. Mortals are allowed caprice, but immortality wears that stone smooth quickly, and Helen Vord chose cool prudence over cold malice. Rests Violet Goldhammer, beloved singer. May her voice live on in our memories.
The loot? When did I get a loot? Did I get a loot? Battered loot. Oh! Well, let's go find Raphael. Hey, you stupid bastard. Our hero thought but of treasure ahead, did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark she went creeping, and awoke what was sleeping. A new grave they dug, which she herself fed. How long have you been standing around practicing that? Until it was perfect. <laughs> I've been quite fond of you, you know, in my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. Ah, uh, of course, like... He's not gonna offer the information. So what's the point in asking? Okay, what dangers well, are they? We both know they are soon to be revealed. You're an idiot, it Raphael. It of me to try to buy you from entering. But I can... set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. <laughs> All of these are great responses! <laughs> Like, I kind of want to play along, and at the same time, I kind of just want to kick him in- or, like, headbutt him in the balls and just move on with my life! <laughs> I was gonna say kick him, but, I mean, that, that would take too much effort. I'll just headbutt him. WOMP! <laughs> Fuck off, Raphael! Uh. Fine, paint me a picture. There is a stage <laughs> down in the dark upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. Oh my god, Raphael! through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping. Are you seriously Turns still rhyming? Many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. Oh my god, you're still rhyming! Uh, he's still rhyming! <laughs> Fucking asshole. I'm sure he is. Would have been better if he'd actually done the entire thing. Okay, paint me a clearer picture than that, you fucker. Fucking true! Fucking true! Difficulty class 10! That is a persuasion check! That's a how badly can I own you check. <laughs> there is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, you'll have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. In truth, it is carnage incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, kill it. Consider no other course of action. On the other hand, the enemy of my enemy, etc. <laughs> You're still only telling me half the truth of what you really know. I can tell. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, this could easily be a deception roll, too. Because I don't believe him, ever. Oh, you fucker! Fuck off! I probably have... Yeah, I was gonna say, I probably have inspiration. Stop sucking! Thank you. This creature and I go back a long way. I admit, it would be in my best interest as well should it remain trapped in the dark. Or misplace its head, perhaps? I should not relish its reacquaintance. Let's leave it at that. So in other words, it's got dirt on you. <laughs> Stuart Coward. Sounds like an acquaintance I'd like to make, actually. Listen here. <laughs> Underestimate this opponent. <laughs> At best, you will have the blink of an eye. <laughs> right? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> he really sounds like he's mad at an ex-girlfriend. <laughs> bastard to concede. <laughs> and don't think I've forgotten your tale, Astarian. When the beast is dead, I'll consider that payment enough to translate those scars of yours. A fairer deal than I expected. You wound me, Spawn. I always deal fairly. And we'll close this particular deal soon enough. Vanquish the beast and all will be revealed. That's a pretty straightforward guarantee, which means this guy probably has... He said it was devil, not demon, which means it's a rival, not 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 something that he would just want to kill on all on his own, except that he's a giant fuck off wimp. Ooh, graves to dig up. Something over there. Ooh, another grave to dig up! I mean I was already gonna dig up the grave, but I guess we're digging up more than this. Ooh, Phantasmal Killer. Very nice. Oh, for fuck's sake. As soon as I looked at it, I'm like, that shield's gonna overburden me, and it did. Apparently the robe weighs more? And to Karlak. I'm getting full up up here. No, I've read that one. That one's an open grave. Yeah, someone stole the bones from that one. Dark Justicius, who fell long ago in service of Shah and Catherick Thorne.
sigils. Attempts to restrain Lady Shah's power, perhaps. Failed attempts. Me, Zarel, Minthara, whoever you are, leave. I shall carry out General Form's will alone. Not wanted, not needed, leave. Is not for you. Go no farther. The work must not be interrupted. Away! All is at hand. Your presence is not required. Here lies Melodia Thorn, beloved wife and mother. A Armiel Tellere Manon here. How can she be gone? Where did she go? The Moon Maiden cannot be so unfeeling, so cruel. Not toward her most devoted servant. Not after Melodia. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. I won't survive it. That much I know. Forgetting is the only possibility. The embrace of oblivion. The reprieve of nothingness. It would be... It would not be possible for a man to survive knowing what he knows. Knowing what can be lost. Shar understands that. Hers is the only mercy I can comprehend. My mind is full of holes. Yet not enough. The emptiness, the time, the nothingness. And still I remember. I still remember it all. There's no mercy in this beating heart. There's no mercy in life at all. I'm just clearing some stuff out of my bag here. Alright. Rats! Why so many rats? place and something deadly sealed inside it Ooh. 
perhaps the symbol of Merkel. Not of murder. Catherick Thorne's forebears. He defiled their remains so he could pay homage to Merkel. General Thorne's orders were clear in order to find what lies beyond this mausoleum. One must walk in his own footsteps, deed by deed, from splendor to tragedy to infamy. Bone chair. That might be worth a look. Thank you. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy diggy hole. Poisons. Oh, missed volume two. Lori would understand if she knew my aim. She too believed, uh, I believe, would have turned to Merkel under such conditions as these. Our darling will live again. What kind of man would I be if I didn't raise the world entire for her sake? That sounds really promising. Ooh! Scroll of light. Very nice. Oh. Asterian. Touch me. Fix it. With pleasure. Oh ho! All right, what now? Mouse gets a cloak. Neat. What's in here? Please let it be skulls. It isn't even skulls! I'm- 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 I'm ashamed. That's really, really- I- I mouse over a pile of skulls and then all of a sudden it ain't skulls that's inside? Really? That looks terribly green over there. Like, terribly poisonous, probably a bad idea green. Bones everywhere. Someone's been engaging in dark rituals here. Oh, here's the... Forgetting evades me in this infinite darkness. Balthazar is my own source of the bear's comfort. The thought that perhaps she might be brought back to me. If oblivion can fail, what defense have we against death? Not except its masteries. Balthazar's words have never felt more promising. Yoink! Wall of stone. Well, I mean, I figured if I started taking damage, I'd just back off and try and figure out how to get rid of it. <laughs> Other 
otherwise it's just, you know... A lighting thing. One presumes, another skeletons. There are many bones to be had! There are many bones to be had. The oh, skeleton looking down the crack. Hello? What's down there? Smells yucky. Not much over here, other than the diary. You know, I'm the one who's got the really good book of, of necromancy that I'm just carrying around here in my backpack. I mean, surely they, they, they were aware of the potency of that magic, right? And weren't just doing that at random... This looks so sussy! Oh my god! An open tomb. There's more to this Empty. place. I'm sure of it. Not ominous in the slightest. Lady Shah's presence is near. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out. I'll put the gloves back on. Would be like you, Asterian, to just use up your last fucking... You dork. Where's your fucking gloves? Dumbass. No spicy gloves for you until you disarm everything. Traps. How considerate. Hell yeah! I mean, I've got a lot of blah 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 anime dead, but I'm kind of just like completely disinterested in animating the dead. Oh, look, a button. I definitely won't be pressing that. Yes, let's. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Let's just save. Cause guarantee he will draw he will hit up hit me up with double snake eyes in a half second. Traps. How considerate. He said traps, but I'd only see the one. Hotfoot, hotfoot, place is trapped.
Someone's left a trap out for us. Be careful. There are traps about. Someone's left a trap out for us. Okay, that is theoretically all of them except for these dark oil heads. Okay. In theory, that's all of the traps. There are traps about. Okay, so if if I were to press these buttons in order. So it is an order thing. So he was sad about his wife. Then something about Moonrise Towers.
I can recall seeing a button somewhere else and laughing about not touching it. It's uncooperative. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to go over here and do this anyway. Not bad. I mean, a little gaudy for my taste, but not bad. A big painting of a sad elf. Heartbreaking. Truly. <sighs> now that's what I like to see. An elf at the head of an army. Even a Sharon one. Interesting. Okay. Disc must be the way forward. But where will it take us? Really, you all failed. in here. What? What? Skeleton butt. I'm going to save here. Because it do be dinner time. So, let's hit save. I may be back later tonight, or if not, uh, is today Thursday or Wednesday? It's Thursday. 
So uh, tomorrow we usually do our stream with Liz Hortha, so depending on how that goes, we might be doing that tomorrow, or we might be playing more of this tomorrow. You'll just have to wait and see. And save. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I wander around blindly looking at every single book in all of creation. This was super fun today. If, if not a little disturbing and gory, but you know. It just makes it fun. Let's find someone nice to read. Let's see who's online. Oh, look at that. Liz is online. Okay, we're gonna send you guys on over to Liz. You guys take care of yourselves, and y'all have a good night. Bye now!